This is your friend Darren Iman, the master of shenanigans, and today I wanted to share with you my favorite four ace manipulation. Now this is based on Di Vernon's Twisted Aces. And uh, let's see, to get started, I'm going to need the four aces. So let's see how lucky I am today. We'll take one over here, one here, one here, and we'll say one right next to it over here. And let's see how I do. No, 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 no. Okay, so not exactly the four aces that I was hoping for, but uh, you know what? That's okay, because I am a magician. So. Let's take these cards, the King of Clubs, the Jack of Hearts, the Four of Hearts, and the Ten of Diamonds. And we'll set them all down onto our mat. If I do this correctly, hang on here, do a little closer to center. We'll balance all three onto the Ten of Diamonds, and we have the four aces, we're ready to get started. All right. Now, as I said, this is based on Di Vernon's Twisted Aces, one of my favorite card effects of all time. I've been performing it for years, but I've never actually uh, put it to camera, so we're gonna give that a try now. So the idea behind this is that as a magician, if I get together with another magician, we might talk about things that would bore the layman, you know, to tears for hours, like an interesting way to turn over a card. Someone might suggest like a little flourish or something like that. Different things that we can add to a routine that if you're not into magic wouldn't really be all that interesting. Um, however, this has led to the discovery of a way to turn over the cards, not by turning them over, like for instance, flipping it over, turning it one at a time, pulling it out, turning it, putting it back in, but by twisting the aces. So we're gonna start with the ace of hearts. So if we give the packet a little twist, the Ace of Hearts will reverse itself inside the deck. If we give it another little twist, that flips the Ace of Hearts back, and yet a second twist has now reversed the Ace of Clubs. And what we're going to do is we'll put the Ace of Clubs back the way it started, give it another twist. This time, we should get the Ace of Diamonds. However, the problem is, is that the final card the Ace of Spades is by far the most difficult because if we turn over every single one of the cards and give them, say, one twist, you'll notice that nothing happens. Everyone is still face down. But if I give them several twists and get them really dizzy, the final card, my favorite, the Ace of Spades. And that is my favorite for Ace Manipulation.